Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-12-EX100-K 1x2 HDMI Media Splitter and Extender Kit. This product was designed to allow you to share a single HDMI media source with two remote locations up to 100 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 165 feet away in full HD 1080p resolution over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. The product also features local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content at the primary location that you're broadcasting to both of the remote locations. Also included is an infrared blaster kit that will capture the remote control signals from each of the remote locations and send those back to the primary location over that same network connection to allow you to actually control the content you're watching. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit. And then I'll list the audio and video standards the product can support. I'll take a closer look at each of the components and explain exactly what they do. And then I'll come back and install the unit here so you'll see just how easy it'll be to use with your own equipment at home. So let's get started with the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find the transmitter unit, a power supply for this module, an infrared blaster that couples with this module, as well as a sticky pad you can use to attach that to the media device that you're broadcasting to the remote locations. Also included are a set of brackets for all three modules where you can use those to mount the modules up off the ground and out of the way. Each of the receiver modules comes with its own power supply, an infrared blaster module, and a sticky pad as well where you can mount that to the actual monitor or TV that you're using at those remote locations. And finally, a full instruction manual is also included with network diagrams for connection as well as specifications and all the information you'll need to actually install the unit with your own equipment. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll list the audio and video standards of product and support, and then we'll take a closer look at all the modules and I'll explain exactly what they do. The product supports full ultra-high definition 4K media content. The unit is HDR, HDR10, Dolby Vision, and HLG compliant. It quickly extends any HDMI media source 100 feet or 30 meters over a single CAT6 or CAT7 network cable. Local loopback is provided for viewing of the content at the primary location. An IR blaster kit is also included to make control of the media device very easy. The O-Ray UHD-12-EX100-K can be used with most devices with an HDMI port, including cable boxes, game systems, streaming media devices, DVD players, and laptops. Included with the kit is the sender unit and a power supply for the sender. This is a standard 12-volt, 2-amp DC power supply. This end plugs into the wall. This end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the sender module and supplies all the power you'll need to operate the product. Also included is an IR blaster module. This one's labeled IR blaster out, and it's important you use this with the sender module because this essentially rebroadcasts the remote control signals that are gathered at the remote location and sent back over the network connection, and it'll actually broadcast those remote control signals to control the content you're watching. Also included is a sticky pad to attach this to whatever your media device is. There are two receiver modules in the kit as well. Each of them are very similar and have exactly the same accessories that come with it. The receiver module has a power supply. This again is a 12 volt, one amp DC power supply. Plug this end into the wall. The other end has a power connection that plugs into the back of the receiver and again supplies all the power you'll need. You'll also find an IR blaster unit for the receivers as well. This is an IR blaster in because this receives the remote control signals at that remote location and then transfers those over the network connection back to the primary site. And also included is a sticky pad to attach this to the monitor you're using so that you can see it from your remote control. You'll find a set of brackets included as well that allow you to mount both the sender and receiver modules up off the ground and out of the way. And then finally, a full instruction manual is also included with all the network diagrams you'll need to make the proper connections between this equipment and your own and information on what specifications the product can support as well. Now I'll take a closer look at each of the modules and I'll start with the sender unit. The product was engineered with a full metal enclosure, which helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the audio and video that you're transmitting downstream. On either end, you'll find vent slots, to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature, as well as mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this unit off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the unit, there's a link indicator here that when the unit is powered up before any data is being transmitted will stay red. The minute data is being transmitted to one of the remote sites, that will turn blue. To the right of that is a reset button that can be used to reset the module if needed. 
On the rear of the unit's where all the connections are made. On the left-hand side is the DC input port. That's used with the included power supply. Again, plug that into the wall, plug the barrel connection in here, and that's all the power you'll need. To the right of that is the IR blaster port. You'll connect in the IR blaster out module to this and put it near the media device you're controlling. To the right of that is the input for the HDMI source. Whatever media you'd like to share across these two output connections connects to this port right here with a short HDMI cable. The product provides local loopback functionality as well, so you can actually enjoy the content you're sending to these remote locations at the primary location by connecting another HDMI cable between this and a local monitor. To the right of that are the two CAT outputs that are used for the LAN connections between this transmitter module and the receiver modules downstream. This is input number one and input number two. This has to be a CAT cable between here and those remote locations. To the right of that is a grounding screw, and this is in case you want to ground this unit to earth ground, you can run a short wire from here to any earth ground contact point in your home. Both receiver modules feature full metal enclosures as well, again, to minimize outside interference and deliver the clearest picture and audio possible. On either end of the module, you'll find mounting holes that can be used with the included brackets to mount the unit up off the ground to the bottom of a desk or a nearby wall. And you'll also find a grounding screw here that you can loosen and run a wire from here to earth ground in your home if you need to ground the cabinet. On the one end, you'll find a reset button on the left that can be used to reset the module if needed. To the right of that is your LAN port connection. This is the connection you'll make between the receiver and the transmitter module, and the data will be transferred across that cable. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, this will come on and stay on. On the other end is your power input port. You use the included power supply, plug it into the wall, plug the barrel connection in here. The minute you do that, this indicator will come on letting you know you have valid power. To the right of that is the HDMI output port. This is where you'll connect your monitor at the remote location with a short HDMI cable between this and the monitor. And to the right of that is the IR blaster port. And it's important you use the IR in on those IR blaster modules because that one will collect all the remote control signals from this remote location and transmit those over the same LAN connection back to the transmitter module and rebroadcast those to the media device so you can actually control the media you're watching. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. For this demonstration, on this side of the table, I'm simulating the primary location. It's wherever the media content is today that you'd like to share with the remote locations. Right now, I've got a monitor connected up to a small media player, and I'm looping a video, and that's the content that I'll actually distribute to these remote locations. On this side of the table, I'm simulating two remote locations. I've got two monitors set up and two receiver modules. Now remember, these can be up to 100 feet apart, and these can be different locations as long as they're within 100 feet of the transmitter. So the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter. I'll disconnect the media source from the monitor, standard HDMI cable, and I'll plug that into the HDMI port on the back of the transmitter. Now I'll add power to the transmitter. I've already plugged the power supply in. I've got a barrel connector here. The minute I plug this in, the LED goes blue and then it goes red. And what that's indicating is that the transmitter is going into what's called a power on self-test, where it's checking all the internal electronics to make sure it's working okay. It's also checking the resolution of your media source to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture downstream. Now I'll connect up both of the receiver modules. I've got a short cable from both of the monitors already connected. And this connects to the HDMI output port on the back of the receivers. Once I've made that connection, I can add power. I've plugged in both power supplies, two barrel connections, and I'll plug those in. And you'll notice the minute I plug those in, two red LEDs come on in the front. These are going through a power on self-test where they're checking the internal electronics, but they're also checking the resolution of the monitors, again, to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture, because these could be different monitors with different resolutions, and the receivers are going to make the adjustments needed to give you a great picture. So the only connection I'm missing at this point is the network connection between them. And you're going to want to use a high-quality network cable, CAT6 or CAT7, and it can be up to 100 feet long. Now, just for the demonstration, I'm going to use a short cable, but I've got two CAT7 cables here. And I'll connect the red to the bottom and the yellow to the top. And then I'll connect them up to the back of the transmitter. Now, there are two ports in the back here. It doesn't matter which cable goes to which. But the minute I make that connection, now negotiations going on over the network to adjust for whatever the cable quality is and the distance between them. So the transmitter is adjusting for both receivers. And in a couple of seconds, once it's settled down, it'll actually transmit the video that we were watching on this monitor to both of the remote monitors downstream. And when it does that, you'll notice the LEDs turn blue. So they're finishing up their adjustments. 
And there you go, there's two monitors right now with the same display we had on the original one. One other advantage to this product is it offers a local loopback function, which means you can actually enjoy this content at the primary location as you're distributing it to the secondary location. And to do that, you'll need one more HDMI cable. So I'll connect this up to the monitor and I'll connect the other end of it up to the HDMI output port. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna blink out a second because I've connected a new monitor up. So the transmitter is gonna make the adjustment to give us the best possible picture and maybe adjust downstream to give you different resolutions to these monitors. So it takes a second or two for it to settle in, but you can see that it's already looping the uh, video back over here. And now I've got the same video on those remote monitors. And it really is just that simple to hook it up. I hope you found this overview of the UHD12-EX100-K 1x2 HDMI Media Splitter and Extender Kit helpful. The product provides a very simple way of sharing a single HDMI media source with two remote locations in full 4K ultra high definition resolution up to 100 feet away and in full HD 1080p resolution up to 165 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. The product also features local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy that same content at the primary location while you're broadcasting it to both remote locations and an infrared blaster kit that will capture all the remote control signals from each of those remote locations and send those back to the primary location so you can control the actual content you're watching. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.